welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. I'm sitting out here in the parking lot of my favorite bait shop in my hometown of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. I'm getting ready to leave for the Harris chain and I need to pick up a couple of things that I know they had in here at least the last time I was here. Uh, it's a great little bait shop that is really kind of my home away from home. If I'm not at home, there's a good chance that I'm here because it is such a special little bait shop. And I'm going to show you why it's so unique. Uh, but it is a bait shop that specializes in custom tackle. They really specialize in musky gear. So if you're looking for super hard to find musky gear, this is a place to go. But they've got all the bass stuff, all the walleye stuff that you need. They have live bait sitting outside and back. Uh, and it's just one of those shops that can get whatever you need, even if they don't have it here. Because the shop is small. But it's one of those places that people just come to congregate in the local area. That's what I love about it. It's a place where I know I can come here and at any given time I'll run into people that I haven't seen in years and engage in really good conversation from that standpoint. So they've they've been a huge support to me over the years. I figured I could maybe throw them a bone and, and you know showcase their shop because it is such a special place for our community. And if you're heading up north uh, in northern Wisconsin, you fish, say, the, the North Woods, the Minocqua area, and you go up 51 or Interstate 39, you drive right by this place. So it's a great place to stop, pick up, uh, you know, your, your bait and tackle. As they say, they've got the best ice in town. So it's a great place to stop and pick up some beverages on your way up as well. Uh, but they're located basically at the intersection of uh, Business 51 or Interstate 39 or Highway 51 and Highway 10. Uh, great place to stop, really simple to easy to get in and out of. But let's show it to you. Uh, it's a, it's just a fun shop. There's the sign. Taps and tackle. So guys, like I said, this is one of those places that I just love because of the people and what they've got in here. So let's show it to you. There he is. What up? Here you go, guys. Taps and Tackle. This is Joseph, one of the owners. How's it going? So this is one of the greatest things about this shop is the bar. They've got a tap room with all kinds of really hard to find beers. Here's the beer list for the day. I would like a number eight if you have one, a Central Waters Life of Illusion. Uh-oh, here's Trouble. Hey, buddy. There's Matt. Here's the other owner. These two guys are local, oh, yeah, local Wisconsin River hammers. <laughs> they do, you guys guide as well, right? We do. Yep. So you're cool with me filming this, I should ask. We are. Okay, cool. So, guys, this is what's so awesome about this shop. They've got a ton of musky gear, a ton of bass gear. They specialize in custom tackle. So if there's things that you can't find uh, elsewhere, this is a shop where you can do it. And they've got all of the necessities when it comes to your, your bass and walleye gear. But when it really comes down to musky gear, they are on top of the game. They get stuff that nobody else gets. Am I right in saying that, guys? Absolutely. And Look at that. Look what's up on the wall. <laughs> they bought that. They bought that. I don't know if you guys, let's get a close up view just so you all can see. This is an autographed Matt Stefan jersey that they bought years ago at a uh, St. Jude's charity event, eBay. I believe, off eBay, but it was for St. Jude's. So they bought that jersey off eBay for like 12 bucks. $22. $22 a plus steal. Shipping. <laughs> and guys, that was years ago. And now at this point, because, you know, I'm a living YouTube legend slash part-time <laughs> tournament fisherman, the jerseys now are going for like a couple hundred bucks. So they got a pretty good investment going there. Uh -huh. All right, guys. So like I said, we've got a ton of super cool custom baits here. Lots of cool musky stuff. But for you big bass addicts, the musky stuff relates really well over to that. So you can, if some of this really sparks your interest, they've got a uh, online website, right? Is it just taps and tackle? Tapsandtackleco.com. 
tapsandtacklecode.com and you can order any of this off the website as well. Uh, but let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the cool stuff we got here. All of our stuff is custom. Most of this stuff is custom to here. These are all custom colors. They're actually... So these are dipped, right? They are dipped. We don't do them. We send them out to get done. We got Dace, Gobi, Gobi, Perch, Crappie. We got the bigger. These are the 12s. Uh, this is a Perch tube. It's a 10 inch tube. Comes with a giant harness. And for you bass guys out there, this is a musky tube. <laughs> Basically work it just like a regular tube. Tennessee River ledge fishing mm -hmm. lure right there. Giant tubes I've been catching them on. Smallmouth bass color. White bass. That's a walleye. We have all, all of those as well. In a suic. So it's kind of like a glide bait or a stick bait. Up and down. The old suic is a uh, standby musky and pike bait. That's that is a tried and true right there. If you're a musky fisherman, you've definitely probably thrown a suic in your life. My question for you is why? So the the big glides like that work so well for musky and pike. Why do we not have those in the bass industry much? Like smaller size suics and just smaller glide baits. I've always wondered that. I mean, we've got our glide minnow baits. I think I think they're just harder harder to tune. Something I like think this. I think they'll work, and guys just don't use them. Like I know if you have a seven inch suic, these are the these. This is the nine inch wood weighted ones, and if you get into the seven inch range, uh, and unweighted, they don't run as well or as nicely. Hmm. Just because they're smaller. Yeah, just because they're smaller. Uh, but the seven inch tubes, like these are really, those work really well. Um, but when it comes to like glides or or other uh, stick baits, I don't think they just perform as well. Look at these are the super shad wraps in custom colors. Look at that guy right there. I've caught a lot of bass on super shad wraps. This is probably years. our most self sold bait and our best performer it's a swimming dog from musky innovations in the bluegill pattern hmm. and that is we call it 3d bluegill that is so lifelike and that That's thing just cool. wobbles in the water I caught a lot of fish on that bait so all of these are customs as well all the swimming Th dogs. these ones are all customs down here these are these are musky innovation standard colors uh, we're actually sold out of a lot of our customs right now just due to inventory issues like um, everybody else um, But these are all these are the bigger ones. That's a carp pattern Killer uh, on the river killer carp pattern um, These bait these bucktails are made by a guy in our hometown here Big Eddie Bait Company and he does a really nice job. He ties the actual mucktail wire together, not awesome. just a chintzy split ring. And those catch a lot of fish. He's been having a really good year. And one of my favorites, bucktails on the market, pandemonium tackle. Kevin and Scott Evanroth. This bait, like if you remember those old Terminator spinner baits, same thing. It's got a titanium yeah. shaft in it. So you wrap that thing around a log, around a fish's mouth, and it'll just bend and flex and go back to normal. I believe, Matt, am I correct in saying when you caught that 50 and a half incher when we were out together, that's that what it was on, right? Yep, yep, same yeah. type, yep. And he makes a bigger blade too, an 88. So it's actually a, a Mag 8 Indiana and a regular Colorado. That's awesome. You can bend that whatever way you want right. yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of surprised like i feel like uh terminator had that whole thing that was going on with the bass world and then like you it, i don't feel like it's around as much like that whole titanium this is the wire only, and everything these was, are the only bucktails that i've ever seen with titanium 
shanks. Like but they the were big like, like in the bass spinner right. bait world, and yeah. now they're not as popular. But I don't even know that it's it's. I think it's titanium though. It's like it's. He calls it Ro He calls Roswell. it Roswell wire, which, yeah. I mean, I think that's just a way of keeping it secret of what sure. it actually is, which I'm fine with. <laughs> but man, they just have a different sort of vibration compared to anything else. They they wobble in the water. Yeah, they're fantastic. So I before I move too far away, do you still have the picture of that big one up over here? You yeah, moved no. it. <laughs> you looked right in there. The there office. it is. It's in the me, office. They, they took me off the wall. Put me in I don't know. Office. Can I go in the office? Yeah. Yeah. It's right there. So Matt and I were out. He got that one. That was a 50 and a half incher. And then maybe what? 50 and a quarter. Right. You take great 50 pictures, and a so. quarter. A half, a half hour later, I got a 43 incher. That was a fun day. Yeah. We lost a lot. Three other, Dude, four we were... other fish and had the countless follows that he... Joseph actually was on the water that I day. I was. You were? I was. <clears throat> and I he left. said that he was in that spot and said he saw the biggest fish of his life uh, in that area. And then we just kind of slid in there. But I left. So do you think that was the fish? It was huge. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, all, I mean, we had so many fish going that day. Our boat never moved. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Like you, I mean. The gates were open. Well, there was a gate open. The boat was just right there. And just and like it was, we were right in where the, where they wanted to be. It was unbelievable. It and really people was. People were fishing all around yeah. us, not really catching anything. It was yeah. a big one. Hit at the boat. Yeah. Right went crazy. Yeah. It was awesome. It's why, guys, I, I've told you before, I like musky fishing. I used to do a ton of it. And I just don't do it as much with the bass stuff. But I mean, there was a period. Pretty much from probably when I was 14 to 18, that's all I did was musky fish. You can tell by your tackle box. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. I'll show I'll, I'll show you guys the tackle box one day. He makes fun of me because I have a tub of musky baits. There's probably 50, 50 bait. Well, there might be more than There's 50 There's probably baits. way more than that. Man. It's a big Tupperware container just filled with musky baits, and that's what I take with me. So it takes me like 25 minutes to get a bait out to use it but it's worth it it's awesome <laughs> these guys think it's funny it's great it's fantastic it was just surprising to see that the first time we went fishing well that wasn't the first time that was the first time we went musky fishing we also do custom pours and like regular like these are some of their custom pours the medusas um, the medusa uh so this is a color only available here we call this one chitruse <laughs> For obvious reasons. Yeah, why why is that? Oh, well, it kind of looks a little <laughs> turdy. <laughs> um how about how about these guys? This is something the bass world might think is pretty cool too. These are uh what angry dragons? Yeah, angry dragons by TNA Tackle. So guys, I gotta say this is something Matt introduced this to me a long time ago. And you know, the the bass world now you've got your chatter baits, which are the z-man chatterbaits and they just came out with the big blade yep and i'm like the big blades nothing compared to like these tna angry dragon blades i mean guys these are like i mean that bait is probably 12 inches long and that's guys, not even the big one we've had a few guys from like down south like texas and other southern states order like this size so yeah. this is the long size that's the short size and then you go to the mini size oh, i didn't even know you had that and i might then you go i might to the <laughs> micro size yeah micro which is still bigger than the big blade so, z-man yeah it's there's a mul there's multiple you th you, sizes you throw the big one and you feel like you're reeling in a two-pound <laughs> bass every cast it it's awesome vibrates your rod like you wouldn't believe that's what i mean so i've said this a bunch too guys there are so many bass baits out there that come out every year now it seems like and people are like this is the newest coolest thing and i'm sitting here as a as a guy with some musky background in me i'm like that's just that's a tallywhacker or that's like a you know it's a a creeper or you know a hog wobbler and and all of that turns back you know it gets turned into bass baits on a smaller size but they've been around for years in the musky world and and this is kind of another example. I mean, a giant TNA angry dragon. I don't know if you guys can see it, but angry dragon for a good reason. Pretty cool stuff. And then, you know, just since I'm here, they've got all this 
this stuff. I actually came to pick up some Maxent. The Generals. I don't know why you guys have them down low like that. You should have them up high. You'd sell them more. <laughs> they probably are pretty much for me. And then over on the far side, I mean, they got all, all your taps and tackle gear too. If you guys wanted to support them, that's a good way to do it. Or you could pick up my smallmouth or and pick up my uh, Matt Seven Fishing Braveheart smallmouth t-shirt. Support the channel as well that way. So as you guys can see, they have all your basic bass and walleye gear as well. Uh, scattered all over the place. They've got, you know, whether it's your TRDs, your robo worms, they've got your uh, swinging packs, they've got all the terminal tackle you could need. They actually have a really nice selection of hair jigs, which you can't find most places. Uh, so if you're a northern smallmouth guy or a southern smallmouth guy that want to get into the hair jig deal, that's a good way to do it. They got your chatter baits, some custom color rip and wraps, uh, the moonshine lures um shiver minnow thank you so for some of you walleye guys and uh you know they pretty much have everything that you could need to get you through your trip up north or your local trip and if the if they don't have it here they can get it for you Absolutely. Right, Matt? yep yeah we do a lot of i mean we've got Everything from angle coolers, we've got, we're a Garmin dealer, we can do Lowrance, we can do Hummingbird, we can do all that stuff. We don't stock a lot of it, just because we're, we're tiny, <laughs> we don't have a ton of room, but we carry it all and we can get it all as a general rule. And you, so you say you're tiny, but you just had your one year anniversary. Yep. When I was down uh, in Rayburn. Correct. And so I couldn't come, unfortunately. But the shop has doubled in size, at least, in one year. Yep. And I would expect yeah. it to continue yeah. to double. That's and I mean, they do have, I mean, I'm a battle born batteries guy, you know that. <laughs> but I mean, they have all the Dakota lithium, which specializes in a bunch of really good ice fishing batteries, which yep. is really good for you guys in this market. I don't do much of it, as you all know. But I mean, they've got your different depth finders. There's trolling motors sitting over there, which probably, I'm surprised you even have them because I got them hidden a little bit. Yeah. I, I feel like that's a hidden, it's a bit of a hot commodity yeah. right now. So in the, everything the we've got Minn Kota's and Garmin's and we do a lot of, I mean, we try to do focus on the musky stuff, but we do a lot of everything. So, I mean, we, we sell a ton of ice fishing stuff. Ice fishing is a huge thing here. Uh, so we, we cater to that. Um, it just, this is just a, a place to get kind of whatever you need to hang out, you know? That's the nice part about it. you come, beer. you grab a beer, you mingle, you you don't know what you're going to find here. They've got a bunch of your reels that you're looking for. They're a big Shimano dealer. They've got a bunch of the big musky equipment, like the, what is it? The tranks and tranks stuff like that. 400. Stuff that's tough to get. Pretty much everything you need, they have it. And I should point out while we're here that you, you can pick up growlers. Yep. New crawlers, growlers. <laughs> Take some beer to go. So if there's something here that you really like, you can get it. If not, you can walk through that opening. I'm just, can I show that real quick, Matt? Yeah. So this is the other half. Matt owns this. This was what was here originally. This is the bottle stop. You walk right through and you're, you're, and you're in another shop, but this is a, you know, a very nice uh, local liquor store that specializes in hard to find beers, which is another reason I like it. He's got a great selection of your bourbon and whiskeys. I don't know why he's not playing Matt Seven YouTube videos. We got it on. I know, it was on when I got in. You were making fun of me. So you can pick up all of your favorite uh, brewskis or bourbons or whatever it is that you'd like to take up north with you, as well as have a fresh refreshment while you do some tackle shopping. All right, boys. Thank you for uh, letting me come in and expose your shop. I appreciate it. Thank you for having good beer and the tackle that I need. So everyone, if you happen to be in the area where you're driving up north, swing by Taps and Tackle located on Highway 10, right off of Highway 10 and Interstate 39 as you head north. So I'll, I'll put the address and all the information up in the video. But I'm going to get back to my Life of Illusion by Central Waters, one of my favorite breweries, and uh, pick up the couple things I need and get headed home. Thanks for watching.